Welcome to the Air Power Airwaves, the Air Power Manufacturing Solutions podcast series where we talk about manufacturing issues that impact you. Hey, this is Travis Steerwald, and welcome to another episode of Air Power Airwaves. Today, I have two special guests, and neither of them have ever been in here before. So, first, Chris Scarborough with Ingersoll Rand. How are you? Doing well, Travis. Thank you. Good, How good, good. Had, had a good dinner last night. Yes. Good and pizza. you were there. Yes, sir. All right. James Stanley, how are you doing, buddy? Good. How are you, Travis? I'm doing good. good. We've known each other for a long time now. Been a while. We've done a couple of these, just not we, in this room. Not in this room. We did so. We've done some stand-ups in the in the tool lab. We have. All right. So, Chris Scarborough, Ingersoll Rand. You are Southeast sales manager, correct? Yes, sir. Out okay. of South Carolina, cover Virginia to Florida uh, for the industrial power tool division. So yeah. So just give us a, a like a thirty second snapshot of what you do. What's your primary function? Uh, covering power tools, uh, field field sales, and uh, assistance for distributors, um, pneumatic cordless, and manual lift devices. Okay, so we know you because you work with Air Power a lot. Yes, out in the field. Yeah, going going on on trips with service sales application specialists, um, and and doing podcasts. So. Perfect. Yeah, <laughs> even better. All right, James Stanley, you are affectionately known as the tool nerd here at air power uh just tell us a little bit about you know your job here with air power how maybe how long you've been here and so you do been around just short of nine years now Uh, most of what i've I've done up to this point has been uh you know dealing with precision fastening uh, advanced assembly stuff uh so I, i always say if it plugs in or if it requires software i'm the guy that gets involved uh, but taking on some a uh, few new roles recently, so I'm kind of branching out and, and digging into all things tool related. Yes. Uh, and then you know, air power wise, we always say you know if if you manufacture something, we can help you out floor to ceiling. Well, in in our group, we can absolutely help you out floor to ceiling. We cover cover everything in that space. So absolutely. All right. So you are a technical specialist and. Every bit of that word he represents, I can assure you. Um, All right, so I want to introduce somebody else that's behind the camera, Jai Armitage, who's our director, producer, and all things marketing here at AirPower. Jai, say hello. Uh, Hello. There we go. (laughs) All right, so as we move forward here, a couple things. Uh, If you have any questions, call 1-800-334-1001. Uh, you can go to airpower-usa.com for all things air power. Uh, if you want to see a little bit more about Ingersoll Rand, we have a resources page on our website, and you will see brands and kind of kind of like a, a home for our top 50 brands here at Air Power for all things that we do. And uh, there's a whole section for Ingersoll Rand there. Uh, so whatever you want. Whenever you want, go to the website. Uh, this is, we are entering into our fourth year of podcasts with Air Power Airwaves. You can go to airpowerairwaves.com and see all the uh, podcasts there or the videos on the website. And uh, if you want to listen to it, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube or our website and you want to listen to the podcasts, uh, you, you just go anywhere that you like to listen to podcasts and search for Air Power Airwaves. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Ingersoll Rand. Just give me a quick, give them a quick snapshot of who Ingersoll Rand is, maybe where uh, um, where they're located, what, you know, just... Yeah, the um, one Ingersoll Rand uh, founded officially in... Uh, I guess got its start in 1871, um, became Ingersoll Rand, two companies combined in about 1905, and, and really were, was the first inventor of the pneumatic wrench um, all the way up through, uh, new, heavily pneumatic all the way up through the early 1900s, um, introduced cordless, I mean not cordless, electric in I think the 40s, late 40s, early 50s uh, with kind of industrial, re- second industrial uh, it tail end of the revolution there and um, now headquartered in uh, Davidson, North Carolina, just down the road. Um, obviously, compressors, pneumatic tools, uh, cordless tools. 
um, all covering uh, impacts and surface preparation um, and, and a maraud of other uh, power tool. One of, the, one of the things that came up the other day as far as history was the pneumatic rock drill. Yeah, so the, the first, I guess, Mr. Ingersoll, Simon Ingersoll, uh, was, and, and the Rand brothers were in the rock drill um, competition. Uh, so they were, they were doing uh, tunnels in New York. So Hell's Gate, uh, aqueducts, the canals, okay. some of the big uh, tunnels and, and mining um, in and around the Northeast. Um, and, and mining and construction was a big industry uh, back then. And that was all with steam-powered uh, tools. So... So the faster you could get through, <laughs> the more profitable. Yeah, so it, it you took were. from from yeah. manual power all the way. Uh, that was that was the <laughs> biggest invention at that point. Was actually mechanic the first mechanically uh, driven tools were powered by steam. So. Okay. Cool. Now I know we're here today uh, to talk about some technology, but before we do that, I wanted to get with James here for a second. Um, you're you're, you know. In a situation with air power, there's some things going on. There's some moving going around, some shifting, and you're really taking the lead for the whole tool and assembly side. So, so stepping in as uh, as player coach is kind of how we refer to it. Yep. Uh, so been part of the team, been part of a great team, actually. Uh, those guys uh, through the years, uh, we've had a couple different uh, guys in different roles there, and the team that we've got now is great. Um, you know, I've I've told those guys. You know, that everybody had questions in the beginning. I said, I said, you know, look, where you need me, just just pull me in. Uh, think of me more as a gap filler. Uh, yep. If there's I get that. that yeah. Uh, talk uh, for for somebody who's tuned in or watching. Um, give kind of an overlay of of where air power fits in the uh, the tool market, in in what we have here as for resources in our high not only just not only high point really but with a couple of our other yeah. several of our other other locations what we have to offer yeah so uh across air power we have you know uh we have several brands uh again where where my heart kind of goes is precision fastening uh but we have several brands uh, across the board uh, that you know along with ingersoll Rand that uh, cover everything from, you know, I think you, you kind of touched on it as far as, you know, we do material removal stuff, we do material prep stuff, you know, sanders, grinders, drills, uh, you know, any kind of polishing equipment, things like that. Um, man, downdraft tables, vacuums, uh, and, and like I say, you know, everything from, from floor to ceiling, from ergo matting to overhead rail, uh, if if you're in the the you know manufacturing space, we can we can help you out. But uh, specifically in our in our world, I mean those things all fall into uh, our group's responsibilities. Uh, but uh, more so, you know, one of the things that we le lean heavily on is fastening. Yep. Uh, fastening and assembly is you know uh, we we assemble, move, and coat at Air Power. So uh, we we have a lot of assemble and move, uh, but uh, assemble is is a big portion of it. Yep. Um, and we do have the the lab here. We do. Um, and we've got multiple labs now, so you know different competencies where yeah. things cross over, and yep. you might be picking up your toys from one room and going to another That's one, right. or vice versa, That's right. depending on what you're proving out. Yeah. And and honestly, you know, we've kind of crossed those we've crossed those paths a little bit. Uh, I mentioned the the vacuum systems. Uh, it's real nice to ha have something you can reclaim powder in the in the finishing lab back absolutely. there absolutely yeah uh likewise you know we uh, we talk about prepping material and you know you may have to uh sand something or grind something down to to clean it up and get it ready for for that finishing process so a nice segue to that is something that i don't, I don't know how we got into it but the three of us started talking about something and uh hit on a uh Hit on a product there when we're talking about sanding dust and all that. The the five thousand series that IR offers with the class one division two cordless tools. Yep. Um, again, a crossover product, intrinsically safe. We talk about that all the time when we're on the powder coating side or the dust collection side, sanding side, uh, where you have to have something intrinsically safe. And I don't know, this I didn't even know that that was a thing that 
Yeah. Um, so any any quote unquote hazardous or combustible type environment um, where where this is really coming to play uh, that I heard about recently was uh, like like a distillery, Buffalo Trace. Um, they have to check their check their barrels every so often, and and uh, without a class one div two tool, uh, they got to have seven or eight people on fire watch um, to make sure nothing nothing bad happens. Oh yeah. And so having this tool that cuts down the amount of people they have to have, and they can safely uh, check their their goods. So. Yep. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> you I just don't I, think I, about I, it. It's, it's yeah, the, yeah, it's those unique applications that. that you don't you don't hear about unless yeah. unless we get together and just chit chat and absolutely yep. and uh, some somebody experiences some. So you know, I know I know about the intrinsically safe side because being in powder coating for so long, right. you cannot vacuum up the powder from the ground with just a regular shop vac. You have yeah, to use absolutely. an intrinsically yeah. safe vacuum. So I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so. We are here to talk about some new technology. New technology, yes, sir. <laughs> and it has to be four numerical digits, 2236. Do we want to show off 2236 real quick? Yeah, certainly. So we don't have to do it real quick either because there's a lot of stuff we're going to talk about <laughs> this. So Ingersoll ran, uh, yes, inventor of, of pneumatic um, impact wrench. Um, the impact technology, uh, I guess, over the past almost over 100 years now, um, really faster, stronger, more efficient, uh, compressed air um, improvements over the years has, has really been the, bi the big game-changing technology going from a, to, a, to a twin hammer uh, design, I guess, to get more beats per minute um, out, of, out, of your, uh, out of your tool. Uh, but until now, um, this is brand new for Ingersoll Rand, released in 2024. Uh, the 2236 plays on the platform of the 2235, which is the standard, industry standard half-inch uh, pneumatic gun uh, impact wrench. Um, and so we, we've, we've actually made this a little bit stronger. I think it's 200 foot-pounds stronger. But what is, what is so unique about it is, is our patented DXS technology, which is, which is drive exchange system technology. So in the past, uh, you had one tool for a single anvil. Um, and and for those who don't know, anvil is what the actual I don't know what you yeah socket. What your socket fits onto? Correct. Or tool or, or extension. Um, and so, should Travis here uh, be working on the product line and, and need to use a different uh, size anvil or extension, or say he drops the tool and, and breaks this anvil, or also your your wear points or your corners where the socket might have a little slop. So in the past, where you would have to send this entire tool back to air power to be serviced or, or to your maintenance department, um, we now have, with this technology, interchangeable anvils. So what we can do is uh, line up our uh, little hole here and insert um, uh, a small device, small screwdriver. It comes with a little, uh, actually, a divot tool for uh, any golfers out there. Uh, and we pop the anvil right out. So on the anvil, you have a little detent pin, um, and so it's a spline drive system um, that, that has interchangeable anvils. Uh, this, this technology, obviously, uh, spline drive's been around for a long time. Think tractor PTOs or, or anything that, that has a, uh, a drive system on it uses this technology. So the, the strength is still there, um, and actually more so because you're getting more touch points on, around the diameter of the, of the anvil. So um actually get a little bit stronger transition so one of the other benefits your your grease point is actually right down in the anvil so there's no awkward grease points getting anywhere on the outside of the tool um we're hitting i guess on the power curve we're hitting 1500 foot pounds uh breakaway torque on this this tool as well so it's even a little bit stronger than its predecessor so power. i'm automatically thinking the amount of production time lost with the predecessor to this tool oh, yeah. is gone. Like, so, yeah, so good point. So if you gotta go from a, a half inch, you know, standard size, and you gotta go to your rack or maintenance crib or wherever to get you another tool that you need a half inch extended, I pop my anvil out and I automatically, in my turn around in my drawer or my toolbox, pop a, pop a four inch extended anvil in there. And all you got to do is is push that detent pin down, and there you are. So, 
And we, this comes in uh, 10 different configurations. So you can go 3 8 half inch, or all the way up to 3 quarters, and all the way up to 10 inch extended anvils. Um, find, your, find your fat tooth there, the larger tooth, and it pops right in, or it's supposed to. There you go. So one, one tool platform can run a dozen different configurations. So it helps out with uh, purchasing. So you only have one tool to purchase, one tool platform, and then you, these come in kits. Um, so if you just need a half inch or if you just need extendeds, uh, you can buy different kits uh, based on that. I think based that's on your pretty needs, remarkable. So. It's, it's a very cool tool for the, for the industry. Um, when, you were, when you were talking through that, you know, as far as like downtime, I think of, you know, we, we always try to uh, educate our customers and make sure that they have things plumbed correctly and that kind of thing. You know, you don't have quick disconnects. And so think of the downtime of, you know, I've, I've got my airline plumbed straight to my tool. Now I have to go shut that off and then, you know, disconnect that. Uh, take that back to the crib. Go get take another tool. Back. Come back out. Plumb it back up. Turn the air back on, and now you're now you're back up and working. And I mean, if, yeah, if you crack an anvil, you're t you're down a tool, uh, and and just yeah. so happens maybe your maintenance or, or tool crib only has a couple left and and or none left, and you got to order more. So now you just order this one one tool platform and whatever so uh, uh, anvil extensions you need. Yeah, it's very. Yeah. Cool. Mercy, so, that's pretty cool. <laughs> talk, yeah, talk about, I mean, game-changing technology. It's, uh, it's going to make a lot of people's lives a lot easier. So for those of you watching or listening, uh, stay, stay focused on the air power videos section or in our social media. I think that uh, this afternoon or, or after we shoot this video, we're probably going to take that tool into the lab and do some, do some short videos with it. Just yeah, have some close up, close up, close up interaction with that tool. So, um, we will keep you posted with that. All right, James. Something else that we talked about um, yesterday in our meeting was the RTS, the RTS technology. So, so I've, I've also got you know down here we got the the new RTS, the responsive tightening system. Uh, tool br like brand new technology for Ingersoll Rand. Um, so uh, obviously leader in impacts uh, in the industry and uh, make a make a great tool as far as impacts. But kind of blending the uh, advanced assembly precision foot fastening side of things, uh, they've come up with a programmable impact tool. So uh, we get we get feedback here. We get we get failure feedback, uh, pass feedback, and then we've got a, a light ring here to illuminate our part that we're working on. But for the tool, so we have uh, eight different presets that we can, we can program uh, to address each individual application. Uh, currently they have four models that they're looking at. Uh, so max 25 newton meter torque, uh, 60, 140, and 225. Uh, so we have the ability to address a, a few different types of, of joints uh, when we're trying to fasten those, uh, those joints together. Uh, we have the ability to, uh, we have the ability to kind of uh, address different, uh, uh, different materials and different substrate in the form of uh, flush detection. So we have seven different modes that we can do there. Uh, and where that comes into play, it's uh, super technical. Uh, Thinking, thinking through those terms, but where it comes into play, imagine that you uh, you need to start hammering quicker or or slower, uh, meaning uh, it tur it turns on that hammer sooner or later, or we turn on that hammer and start ignoring some of that before we get to our our torque that we desire. So, um, so that's where that comes into play. Like uh, when we start talking about you know the capabilities of a tool like this. Uh, one of the first things that people say is, you know, how can we program it? So we have the ability we can program it using a smartphone or a tablet. Uh, we can pair it to a controller. We can program from the back of the screen. Um, so it, it, there's several ways we can do that. But once we start talking about, you know, I can program it uh, using a controller and I can pair it to a controller wirelessly, uh, and then we start getting into, you know, plant integration, line integration. We start actually talking about capturing data and those kinds of yep. things. Um, yeah, that's when, that's when I like We've up. done that's, videos. That's my, that's my We've world. We've done videos in, in the lab with those. 
the so so with uh, with its with its cousin with the QX tool, the we've QX, we've yep. we've done those videos. We have. Uh, so does this fall into uh, precision fastening? Like you're getting the exact torque that you need. I would say this falls into uh, more of an advanced assembly. Okay. Uh, precision fastening would be. Uh, with your transducerized tools, with okay. the transducerized DC tools, where it has to, there's a critical where you've safety, got a, you know, plus or minus really yeah. narrow. This uh, might be something these are, where we these don't want to we don't want to accurate something or we don't. Wanna... Yeah, well, so with this we don't want to uh, we don't want to overstress overstress a fastener. We don't want to get to that yield point. We don't want to uh, we don't want to just hammer it home with a with a standard impact tool and yeah, not, not really know plus how or minus, much we've applied. Yeah, on, over here, your plus or minus fifty foot pounds. Right. Maybe even a hundred, depending on how how hard that operator, how much air he's got coming in. That's kind of the hybrid between your it precision is. fastening and, and just your okay. basic impact. So the algorithms used in this guy probably get you in that plus or minus ten to fifteen percent range. Yeah. Cool. And PFs less than five. Yeah. Yeah. Real, exactly. Really accurate. Yeah. All right. Do you guys want to cover anything else on on either one of these? I know we're doing videos on them later, so. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think I kind of hit on the, the high points at least. And what I would say is uh, stay, tu stay tuned for more information about this tool. Uh, you know, there's constantly developments coming. There's more uh, torque ranges that we've, we've kind of kicked around with, with the guys at Ingersoll ran yeah. that they're looking at. Uh, but right now, so basically 8 to 225 newton meters across four models is okay. where we're at. And again, that was responsive tightening systems. Correct. RTS. So, and then over here, the 2236. DXS, Drive Exchange System. And this technology uh, started here with the half inch, but this will be coming to other size pneumatics as well. Okay. So, all right. And, and possibly for some uh, other cooler stuff in the future that uh, we, we're, we will have more podcasts to talk about as well. So, yeah, we, sounds good. something that I know will come up in the future, we talked about the, um, the strongest pistol grip impact yeah that's actually so this this tool is released now uh that one's coming up in march uh coming soon uh we've also got uh, our 8000 series cordless uh which which is uh the strongest pistol grip yes sir 2000 foot pounds in a in a pistol grip uh cordless platform three quarter true three quarter uh and and one inch uh anvils um, it bridges the gap between our prior strongest which was the 7000 series and the 9000, which is the big dual handle Terminator tool, uh, going back to Arnold Schwarzenegger's movie, right. where he had the dual dual yep. uh, handle. So uh, what's so what we had, we had written down three series. Um, they're all so within the 8000, but yeah, there's the so 8000, the 8171, and the 8191. What's 80, the difference? 8171, the seven's the three quarter. 8191 is the one inch. So 8000 is over just the overall okay. series. Uh, but the 81, W8171 and W8191 um, are, are soon to be released and, and will fill a gap between um, the, the strongest three-quarter now and then that one inch, the big big guy. So, okay. And um, it's, it's got, like I said, 2,000 foot-pounds, and, and I think it's, it's lighter than any other potential co competitor out there. So it's, it fills a good void. Um, if you can't, you know. Uh, well, what we say, if you, if you don't have access to air and, and you can't get it off with that 9,000 series, bring a torch. So. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. It, uh, it's, a big, it's a big tool. So I know y'all did one previously. Did y'all have a video previously yes. on that one? Yeah. Oh, we had that monster in here, yeah. 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 And so we, had some, cool. uh, we had some guys take it out in the field and play around with it, too, and had a, had a fun day. Yeah. I think oh, there yeah. was some, like, going to tractors. Yeah, I think there was a, a few. rusty tractors. A few people from Ingersoll Rand that showed up. Yeah, and went out and had a it's, it's, fun play day it's out. It's a fun show. Yeah, fun show off tool. So yes. Um, All right. Um, anything else we want to talk, talk about? Cover anything coming up that you want to bring up really quick? Or I think I think from my side that that pretty much covers it. You got it. Yeah. yeah. Good. Chris, thank you so much yeah, for joining yes, us, sir. man. Thank you. Thank I'm you. I'm looking forward to seeing the the. We're gonna get it out in the market. These yes, videos sir. here in a little while. James, always a pleasure. Travis, thank you, Thanks sir. for joining us in here. Absolutely. And uh, we'll see if we can't come up with some other topics to All right. throw down in here later. All right, so 1-800-334-1001 is a phone number you need to call if you have any questions. Airpower-USA.com is where everything is on the Internet. And before we close out, the last thing I'm going to say is... 
Manufacture it a great day. Thank you for joining the Air Power Airwaves podcast. Air Power Airwaves is a production of Air Power Inc. and Air Power Live Studios and is hosted by Travis Steyerwall. For more information, please visit airpowerairwaves.com. For more information on all of our products, brands, and manufacturing solutions, please visit airpower-usa.com. If you have any questions or need product support, please contact Air Power at 1-800-334-1001.